Space Muffins, it's Spacey Sims, and we are back with more of The Sims 4 Life in Stardust, a Sims History Challenge. Oh, look at his pretty face. Okay, so, good news and bad news. Not really bad news, just Spacey is lazy news. So, the good news is, after, okay, well, all right, anyway news we now have which you can't see but you can't see it from here but over oh hi Ro. did i just call him hiro i was i meant to say hi and gyro and it came out hiro hiro want to go on a date yes wait wait which restaurant are we going to we might be going to a new restaurant that i added for the next generation uh that's what i was gonna say we now have our whole new neighborhood for our next generation. I put it together. Um, I did not build any of the things in it. I was going to build the house for them, but I was like, mm, I only got like two, three more episodes. I would then have to do a build. You know exactly what I wanted in my head, but what I wanted in my head was also going to take a lot of, you know, landscaping. And I'm not really good at the landscaping. Oh, thank God we came to this restaurant. Um, so let's sit outside. Let's request this table. Uh, oh, I forgot he's old. And, oh, dude, and also put on your everyday clothes. I love the fact that she's dressed like yeah, Princess Leia. It's ridiculously funny. Uh -huh. ah, Let's wear our everyday. Um, did he, wait, what? Did you, did he just, was he here in his everyday and then he j oh, Swimwear is the swimwear is what you're supposed to wear here. That's why this is what the restaurant is swimwear. I was like, why did he change from his everyday into his swimwear? I okay, never mind. Let's order for t let's sit together. Let's order for table. Um. So yeah, so there's a restaurant. There's a bunch of parks, and I'm I'm sorry. I don't care. I don't care. You can yell at me all you want. But we're gonna have we're gonna butt heads on this. I put a ton of freaking food stands. <laughs> and like every lot has like two or three food stands. Um because I kind of figure if you think about it, so let's think about like the boho kind of era that we're kind of trying to do and it's all traveling. I could totally see like people like selling food out of carts, you know, and yeah, sure they'll look a little modern, you know, but I don't care. I put them in my town and I put them in some of the lots because, and, and I chose things I did like I, the Vietnamese one, the Moroccan one, um, the Indian food one. And I tried to kind of keep it like that. I think I might actually have the Chinese and the Japanese food ones too, but I didn't put like the American, I put all of them pretty much except for the American food one down. Cause I was like, hot dogs don't exist yet. We can't have hot dogs. Um, you know, but I figured the other kind of foods would, would kind of exist. So, eh, you know, plus I just am addicted to them. I love the food carts. And since we probably won't be going to any of the festivals um, in this one, just because, you know, it doesn't really quite fit the theme. I suppose maybe the romance festival or something. But like Geek Con, we can't really go to or like like the Spice Festival. Some of them we really can't because they're too modern. And I don't want to, I, so I figured we could use the food carts um, at that. Let's actually get him a little drunk. So let's try, let's get this. And, you know, we'll both take that. And let's see, we don't need, um, I feel shish kebabs. Let, let, let's both get those. Let's get the same things. Can we get dessert too? Let's just get those. Um, so yeah. And I, like I said, I didn't build the house that I wanted for them. It's not, I like it. And it's like kind of, and it fits the theme perfectly. 
And there's things that I really like about it and things that I think I would have preferred to build my own. Um, but the thing with building my own is it was going to take time. And I know damn well it wasn't going to come out exactly what I was thinking in my head. And I was like, hmm, do I want to be disappointed at my build or be like, oh, well, I use somebody else's that's really good still, you know, and sure, it's not exactly what I was thinking. You know what I mean? Because it's no fault of theirs. It's not what I was thinking because obviously how are they going to like know what I was thinking? Um, but it works out pretty well because some of the things that I like about it um, is the fact that they did use like for railings and banisters, they use different pa colored and patterned ones. And I'm like, I like that because it would be kind of mishmashy. Like I'm just going to grab this fence here and this one here. And like, you know, so I did make some adjustments to it. I totally redid the interior just because I wanted to use more of the bright festive boho -y colored kind of, um, decor and the house could have been made before we had some of those things. So I totally redid the interior. I added some things on the exterior myself, which I'll show you when we get to that era. Um, but I think it works and it's small and it kind of fits the theme. And it was, I think the best one because a lot of them that I wanted that kind of had like the old, like, you know, traveler kind of wagon look, um, we're very small and like, here's a twin bed or here's one bed. And it's like, oh my God, some of them would have been so cute, but I still would have had to build something else for the children um, or adjusted it. So this worked out. And we have a restaurant over there. We got a couple of parks, like I said, and the restaurant actually, I changed like the menu so that there would be things a little bit more fitting. Um, and the waiters, like, and, like, the clothes for the rest establishment. But, again, we'll get into that when we go over there when we're ready to move out. But I just figured I would start getting that ready. And it took for goddamn ever. I am not even freaking kidding you. Because one of the lots I placed was a generic lot from the gallery. But, when, I mean, it was a, re it was a residential lot. Thank you. Okay. And when I placed it, it was generic, but I couldn't change generic. So I had to like try three times. And then one time I was like, I couldn't even place anything else there. And I'm like, I need to, but I, I need to place this. So I had to place three other lots and I had to basically exit the game, come back in, not save anything, roll back a save because it actually did save. And I like, and then, so I finally did. I'm like, okay, I placed the other three lots. I got that one working. I placed another lot and I'm trying to do something to it and the game crashed and I was like I just spent hours worth of time for nothing and had just to do it all over again so I learned after I placed a lot and changed it and did what I wanted to do to it like adjusted it for my needs I saved it saved the game and then I went in and I did another one I saved the game because let me tell you something redoing the menu and the costumes for the restaurant were really annoying to have to do three times <laughs> technically I did it twice but whatever are you feeling flirty? Okay, so let's uh, flirt with him a little more. Let's compliment his appearance. Dude, we finished our food fast. I was busy talking. I'm sorry. Ask me if he's single. He's the one that asked us out. So I like that they asked us here for the restaurant, and all we're getting is the restaurant interaction. It's not like an actual date. Which actually would have been cool. Let's try a pickup line on him, see if it works. Or not, because he's going to the bathroom. So we'll just sit here and wait. Should we order dessert? Let's order dessert. Let's order dessert. What would we have? Oh, let's have... We can have baked Alaska. And we'll have... Tiramisu. Actually, you know what? No. We're both going to have that. So there we go. We're both, I'm going to order dessert for us because we like Gyro and he is our honey boo and we want to buy him nice dessert so that he falls in love with us. And he's like, okay, all right, when's he coming back? Look at his face. He's like so adorable and he's like so happy and like, oh, he's so freaking pretty. Good Lord. Are there pretty men like this in real life? Yes, just like, just like in real life, they would also be on a date with a man. Probably. Three days to age up. Where the hell did he go? Oh, okay. I was like, I thought he just went to the bathroom, but good lord, what's a bathroom on the other side of the freaking continent? Is he a young adult? 
Oh shit, he's still a young adult. I mean, he's already a young adult. Let's flirt. I don't think we can get in a relationship with him. Because he's a young adult. Ask a risque question. Asked about career. We want to make... Uh, express admiration. Ooh, we can still have a first kiss. Of course you're unemployed. That's all right. <laughs> I'm just... Everybody's always unemployed in my games. Brightness day. Sexy pose. I always like the sexy pose. Oh, Freya! We're gonna have to go make you a cake, girl. Oh, he liked it! He liked her sexy pose! I'm like just looking for like easy things that we could do to make our let's confess our attraction and see how that works send a flirty text we'll do that later lock a door okay he seemed to do really good with that um We'll ask him a risque question. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Discuss food flavors. Oh, uh, was that awkward? Oh, okay. Enthuse about meal. We'll flirt a little more. Okay, asking a risque question didn't work. That got us embarrassed. Compliment appearance. We want to do things that we can sit down doing so we don't, like, have, make them get up. I don't know why kissing hands we couldn't do at the table. I really do wish there was more romantic interactions for the table, but there is not, so this is what we do. Okay. So we're doing good. We're doing good. Lovebirds. And he's going to tweet his food. Adorable. Uh, despite the fact that he shouldn't have a cell phone, because Julius is over here like, what the fuck is that? Also, with the hat, but... I want to make these things that go on your face that block the sun from your eyes. I'm going to call them sun vi eye visors. Confess your attraction. I think he liked that. Brightness day. Ask him to be your boyfriend. Can you do that? Oh my god, would he say yes? Because that would be beautiful. I don't know why we have to get up to do this, but... Oh my god. Oh my god. Please god say yes. <gasps> Yay! That's <laughs> adorable. Caress his cheek. That's cute. Have your first kiss with him. Oh my god. They're out someplace and nobody knows them here. And although it is a little wrong with Jairo as a young adult and Julius as a teen. But I mean, you know, in the time, I guess it's okay. Get to know. This is adorable. I love it. We gotta do some more friendly interactions. Complain about your parents, because your parents are... Complain about everything. And he's like, no, I understand, you know. He's like, it's not even my parents. It's freaking, uh... It's freaking Tiberius, man. My brother is such a dick. I mean, I know you're friends with him, and he's like, well, I'm actually more friends with you now than I was than I am with him, but, like, is he seriously not having any fun? You don't think this is fun? Where's that woohoo in the bush? I don't know if there's a woohoo in the bush, but that's fun, so let's go. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bash my hand into my microphone. Let's go see if there's a bush somewhere. He's like, so I need to get some fun. Oh, of course there's no bush. Damn it. Why are there no woohoo bushes here? Alright, let's, uh... 
end meal and pay bill. And then... Can we go here together? I want to see where... I would love to see a little bonfire. I want to... You know, oh, here, let's go over here. Let's... Wait, did he leave? Did Jaira leave? <gasps> he left! Uh, hold on a second. I can't believe he left. Oh my god, they hate each other. Oh, that's right, I forgot I did that. Okay, what the fuck? I... Okay. Can we... I don't know what the hell just happened, but, um... Send a flirty text. Why can't we send a flirty text to Gyro? Why can't we send a flirty text to him? He's our boyfriend. And why does it not show him in our... Yeah, and then we want to go here together. When did we get here? Where is he? Look at how romantic that, that is over there. Let's go over here. Can we go here together? Go here together. Try for baby. That's a little bit much. Let's just uh, super speed this. Okay. Oh, I was like, why is my thing not moving? Okay, woohoo in the bush. Woohoo in the bush! Go woohoo in the bush. Where are you going? Where's he go? Where the hell is Gyro? Look, I'm chasing you all over this reunion! This is a Romeo and Michelle shit. What? I told you to go over the. What is wrong with you, you a hole? They're gonna do this whole, like, I don't know where the bush is. Because you're assholes! Because we were over freaking here and you guys ran away because you're stupid. God, can you. Go here together. Please, goddamn, come here together. This is what I wanted you to do, and like, you're both a bunch of jerks. I'm like, let's go away. More choices. Romance. Don't you dare walk away from me. Woohoo and Bush. No! Go here together! Stop! Oh my god, Gyro! I swear to god. Oh my god. What a bag of douches. Now will you do it? He's like, I'm just going to run away. Don't run away! Stay! There! Jerk! <laughs> oh my god. I wanted to have them have a nice little bonfire. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to like scream loudly. Just a little bit, but oh my god. There's a bush right here. There is a freaking bush right goddamn there. Why did you flail like you don't know where there's a bush? It's right there. He's like he's flailing like he doesn't know where there's a bush. It's right there. What in the mother McFucker? Sorry. That's really okay, you know what? Fine. I'm just gonna go home. Bye, Gyro. Peace out. I'm done. I'm done trying. Because there's a bush right there, right? Right where you're standing and you're flailing like you can't get there, so I don't know. I have no idea what the problem is, but I'm dead trying. He's tired. He needs to have fun. We'll just, you know what? I was trying to get you fun, but you're a dumbass. And, oh my lord. Oh my god. Ugh. These two are hurting my brain. But it's okay. So they got their relationship, you know, uh, they got their relationship up. Um, so please go do something fun and then go to bed. We'll follow him. I'm sorry. I have to, my mom just texted me and I have to text her back. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be rude and I text her like back. And I know it's like rude that I'm like, I'm going to text while I'm on uh, like recording. Okay. And I hate doing that. But like, I'm one of those people that are like, oh God, I got to text. I got to text. I got to look at it. I can't. No. And I have to look right away. Like I could be in the middle of something at work, but I get an email. I'm like, I have to read this email right now. <laughs> like right now. <laughs> like. It's a weird OCD thing. Um, 
Uh, uh, <laughs> so, so. Huh? Let's say Beepton. Beepton? Uh, 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 Um, yes, so I um Yes, um so I, I said this in one of my other videos, and I'll probably say this in all of them, so if you watch all of them, you kind of already know. I am recording all of these early because I will be um I have to travel uh, with my sister is kind of a last minute thing. Um, kind of a family emergency. My dad is in the hospital. Uh, he kind of has been for, I didn't say this in the last video I did. Um, he has been in and out for like the past month or more. Uh, so, you know, it's just, it's not good. And we're all kind of, um, it's Friday's birthday. I totally forgot. Blow out candles, girl. Before you age up. I totally forgot. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's not good. And, you know, I, we didn't go up last month, you know, and it's hard with work and everything, but with Thanksgiving coming up, what the, why is she missing a treat? Uh, I'm assuming it's because I had to take them out. Evil. Okay. Well, she's evil. And a genius. She's an evil genius. Um, you know, so, but with work and everything, it's really difficult, but with Thanksgiving coming up, we are, you know, I have two days off, so I'm just going to have to work remote um, for the other, the rest of the week. So it is kind of something that's just like sudden and, you know, but it's kind of better because, you know, the holiday is coming up. It is less time and, you know, family's important and my, I haven't seen my parents in a while. And, you know, I mean, if it's, it's one of those things that your parents start getting older and you have to realize that at some point they won't be there and that's depressing and horrible and I don't want to even think about that but it is something that comes to mind every once in a while and I I'm not going to pass up the opportunity to go home and at least be there just in case something does ever happen or happens before you know Christmas or something you know or he's sick again and they can't come down and visit us down here you know because they live up north and we live down south and so that's just too much information and I don't mean to like spout out all those like those problems and everything but you know it is it is something that's been on my mind for Warmba. you know the past yeah. month and a half because you know he spent most of October in the hospital too so um that's not good but oh that's cute and you know I'm a little concerned though that she ended up aging up evil because now look at her with her dick. Oh, daddy! Look, it's my birthday. Let's take a picture while I stab you in the back. Um, but you know, it kind of works out, and that's why I didn't re-roll that trade. I kind of was just like, uh, we're gonna leave that because you know, um, I think that her aging up that way is going to really work to Tiberius's advantage. You know, well, you know what? If it's stanky in here. Why don't you do some work and clean? Why don't you? Actually, you know what? You would probably tell your dad and be like, Hey, the toilet is filthy. What are you doing? And you would make him probably clean because you're kind of evil like that. Even though poor Aiden is the only one who works in this damn house. <laughs> like, Legit only one that works. And this poor guy, I feel bad for him because he just wants a happy family and his kids are assholes. Except for Julius. Julius is fabulous and wonderful. But Tiberius is kind of a little possessive Ooh. dick. Kind of a dictator up in here. And now Freya's goddamn evil. I mean, it's going to kill him. I mean, I really think that, you know, Julius leaving. Because, you know, I mean, obviously we know Julius. Wow, what in the mother? What is wrong with your needs, boy? Jeez. Anyway. 
you know, I mean, we obviously know Julius is going to leave, and I think that's probably going to kill Pori. It's probably going to push him over the edge. Poor guy. I feel bad for him. Um. Una Oh, she Finia Payfem. Scoopa. Batanabi. Harvey. Sorry. Sharp Kumiao. Brongi. DZ Bodna. Oh, Zagu Warba. Um, hmm. sorry, my mom is asking me if there's anything in particular at the store I want her to get. And it's like, I'm bringing all of my vegetables because I just went grocery shopping and I have like <laughs> some of these vegetables and they're going to go bad if I leave them. So yeah. be like, I am bringing a farmer's market. <laughs> Look at this. They're having a lovely family conversation. And she... The fact that she's evil and she's totally like, oh, I'm just being so sweet to my parents makes me concerned about her. I think she's spending a little bit too much time with Tiberius, to be honest with you. Um, and they're all having this conversation. And then poor Julius is over there, like, napping. And he's probably drink. He is. He's not reading a book, so I don't know why he's reading a book in bed. But that's okay. He's reading a book while sleeping. Oh, oh, oh. No, that's just your crazy mom. Uh, and... Roast. Nope. And I know it's just a childish trait, but the fact that she's like playing with toys and like plays, she plays with more toys than they ever did as kids. Like all three of them. So it's kind of funny, and I, I think that's kind of why Ti it's going to help Tiberius take over. Because she's like, eh, whatever. I think she's lost a few of her marbles. And, you know, they're over here buttering up their dad. Which is just... Wow. This is, like, really weird. She's like, no, no! Oh, daddy! Stab you in the back. They're gonna try to stab Julius in the back, poor guy. He's like, ah, fuck. I do feel like, yeah, because, I mean, again, like I said, I don't think they'd really care necessarily that Julius is gay. I mean, they don't, whatever, they're not. But, you know, Aiden wants the name to carry on, even though it's not his name, which I kind of find funny, but, you know, he's become part of this family, and that's an important thing, is carrying on this name. And, you know, he was kind of putting, like, all of his eggs in... Julius's basket. That sounds Yonda. really inappropriate. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, oh, you're the one that's going to carry on the family name. And then, like, now Julius kind of having a boyfriend is going to be kind of one of those, like, well, but, but how are you going to have a kid? You, but, yeah. So, you know, of course, that's going to, I think. You know, it's like a confusing thing. They're like, but we wanted you to have kids and carry on the Stardust legacy, and but you're gay, so I don't know how that's going to work. And uh, and then that's kind of what's going to fuel Tiberius even more, too. Like, well, I can carry on the family name, so whatever. I guess it's up to me then. Uh, I'm better. You know? Because he's a dick. But he's never going to have kids. So, you know. Yeah. Because I feel like he would probably, you know, end up marrying. We're not going to see that because, you know, you know, once we leave, we're gone. But, you know, he would end up marrying and having a wife, but he, she would probably never bear children. And of course, he'd probably blame her, even though it's his fault. It's going to be his fault. Or the fact that maybe he had a thing for Jar. Why are you? Okay, you're trying to do fun. Oh, why don't you actually swim laps? Because that would also be... I think you killed it. I think you suck at this. Tell story to solve. Is he crazy too? Is he crazy? He is insane. <laughs> I was like, is he crazy? He is. Yeah, alright, okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna need you to clean up after your kids, by the way. <laughs> Quick. Reba. Oh god, I first I thought he was drowning and I was like, no! <gasps> Why are you flailing in the pool? Don't flail in the pool. Oh my god. Um Yeah, so. But I like the fact that uh he and Gyro got closer. That's 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 I don't I was gonna say it's beautiful, and then I came out like blah, 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 blah. uh. -huh. 
It's beautiful, 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 darling. Um. Do 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 do. do. So what was I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking something, but I don't know. What I Thank her. He's like, I'm super hungry. Why is she making it? I just, I sorry, my eyes just glazed over. I don't even know what I was thinking. Ooh. Yeah, but you're hungry and you need to have fun and get clean. But you know what? Hungry is more important now. So you peed. We're going to have you go eat. And then we'll have you go swim. He's so sad. Aw. He's like, I'm really hungry, and everybody in my family is mean to me. They're mean to me. He's like, now I'm happy I have yogurt. Yogurt smells so good. <laughs> yogurt really doesn't smell like that much that you'd be like, smells so good. Such a little weirdo. <laughs> it's like, okay. Anyway. So we should have you go get clean when you're done, and then go do something fun. And let's poke around and see- who's this? Yeah, okay, you can go take in a show. Uh, let's go take in a gladiator show. Um, since we don't actually go to those, it's okay, we'll just pretend. And you're also tired, so maybe keep swimming until you drown? I mean, what? I didn't say that. I'm just kidding, I like her, even though she's evil. It's not her fault, she was corrupted by her brother. We'll just follow Julius and watch him take a bath. You ever feel like you're being watched? I always feel like somebody's watching me. That's the best song in existence. I'm not even kidding. Uh, that is Rockwell. Somebody's watching me from... Yeah, and Michael Jackson actually wrote that song. Actually, I don't know if he wrote the whole song. I know he does like a little part in it. In the uh, chorus, but... I actually think he did write that song, but... It's a great song. It's a hilarious song, and everybody should know that song. Who's calling you? <gasps> no! No, Gyro! No! You will not ask Tiberius to go out with you! I was going to be like, sure! And then I was like, <gasps> how dare you? But you know what? I actually do feel like Gyro probably would be like, hey, Tiberius, we're friends. We should do something. And Tiberius would be like, hmm. I know what you're doing behind my back to my brother. You shoot him at each Oh my god, we're going way over time. You know, it's because I, I wasn't looking at my timer. So Here's me not paying attention and being all sorts of batshit crazy right now. Um, But yeah, so I am going to go do something fun. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what's fun? swim um the flea market's in town yay all of my games everything is always in town. i know i have like seven games going but all of my uh festivals are always the same <laughs> it was the spice festival or geek con and i was like the flea market and who would have whatever else you know what i mean like and I'm, I'm sure they don't just randomize. I'm sure it's like, okay, we're going to have this one, then this one, then this one, and it's just random which one starts. But I don't know if it was like, okay, Geek Con or Spice Festival are the first ones, and then we go from there, because that just... I mean, I kind of just wish it was totally random. Like, whichever one starts, and then, yes, I get you're going to have to go through the cycle, because you wouldn't want to go, like, Romance Festival, Geek Con, Romance Festival... Spice Festival, Romance Festival, Romance Festival. And not get them. You would have to go in a set order. But I just wish the starting point was a little more random than the fact that out of seven of my games, I've only started with two different festivals. <laughs> they might have only might have done that. Like, okay, it's going to be random roll of the dice whether you get Festival A or B, and then the path goes from there. I don't know. Because I don't remember what they said. Hey, you got a pretty good taste. What? Will you come to the flea market? All right. It's the flea market. I we can pretend that they're going and buying like pottery or something. I don't know. We'll go with Gyra to the flea market. 
I feel like that one's an okay festival to go to. Um, so we'll see. But uh, if they get it, which they should, because, I mean, there's like a new festival every other day in this. I'm not even kidding. It's a little ridiculous. But I am actually going to wrap this part up here. And yeah. when we come back, then we will have them go to the flea market. And I legit, not even kidding, just went to the flea market and in house rules, which is the uh, LP that I recorded before this one, which is obviously yesterday's one. You should watch that one. If you don't watch that one, it's a really good one. You should watch it. It's good. It's good LP. Like all of them are good LPs. They're all great, and fabulous and wonderful because I am great and fabulous and wonderful. And <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.